guys so i am here with another video for you um so welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel um i have a very special video planned for you guys and that is beta myths and x lava myths so the reason i have this book is because um i've written all of the myths that i'm going to be talking about down in here and if i think of some other ones then i'll put those in there too but yeah i wrote them all down these are the axolotomus this is the betamus i wrote all the stuff i need to say in the axolotomus and just like the topic for the betamus because i know way more about betas than i do about axolotls um so yeah let us start with axolotl myths okay so the first myth is putting your axolotl in the fridge to cure sickness now the reason that this is false is because that gets way too cold and can kill them. Um, basically, people put them in for constipation, but if your axe is constipated, then just put in some ice cubes, plop, 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 or like an ice pack to cool the water down, and that'll help with the constipation. And the other reason is if they're sick and they have like fungus or something, and it's because the water's hot, just cool down the water and use stuff like medications and almond leaves, but you should also do research to see what you can do to use everything in your power to prevent them from putting them in the fridge because it's bad so do everything in your power to prevent yourself from putting them in the fridge i'm actually just going to check that off so i know that i said it so yeah don't put your axolotl in the fridge i got most of these axolotl myths from um the anderson aquatics um like group the axolotl beta group on facebook so you should go and join that if you have facebook that's literally the only reason i have facebook swear to god okay next Axolotls eating each other or cannibalism in axolotls. This is false. This only happens if they're hungry and there's literally nothing else to eat. And you haven't fed them in days or they're stressed. Um, a little nipping isn't unusual though because they have crappy eyesight. Quite like my handwriting. Um, so yeah. It's just, if they're nipping each other, it's because they have crappy high eyesight. But most of the time, if an axolotl eats, are eating each other they're very unhealthy and they're starving and that would be the only reason okay next axolotl myth uh they need they only need a 10 gallon this is very wrong for a few reasons first off um well i think there's only like really one reason but um they get up to like a foot long and in a 10 gallon tank they would have no room to swim around 20 gallon lawn is really the size that you should be keeping one axolotl in and then add on 10 gallons for every additional axolotl. Okay. Oh, shoot. I dropped my pen. Hold on a sec. Okay, sorry, I dropped my pen. But, okay. So, this last one is kind of an axolotl and beta myth. So, this is before I move on to the beta myths, but axolotls and bettas can be kept together. First of all, um, if you keep an axolotl and a betta together, then the axolotl will eat the betta. That is something that they will eat. Or really any fish for that matter that's that small, then they'll eat it because it's literally, it's like the size of a pin to the size of this pen. That's like the size difference. Or just a betta to an axolotl, you know what I mean? That's the size difference. Um, and B, axolotl's water should be kept at least 10 degrees colder than your average betta water temperature. I keep my bettas at 76 degrees and I keep my axolotl at 68 degrees. So there's almost a 10 degree difference between the heat that they need and it will kill one of them if you keep them in either one of their conditions. So, yeah. Okay, betta myths. Bettas live in tiny puddles in the wild. This is actually super false. Usually, bettas will live in these humongous streams. They're very shallow, but they're huge and long streams. And they usually take up like a three foot by three foot space in their puddles. And that's the area that they stay in. And that's why you need a pretty big tank for them. I'd say about five gallons. You can do 2.5. I just don't suggest it. Um, they live in huge areas in the wild. So please don't be sitting there saying that they live in tiny little puddles and that's why you can keep them in a bowl because that is just completely false. Okay, bubble nests mean they're happy. First of all, no. 
um, they make bubble nests as a natural reaction. It's a mating thing. The males will make bubble nests, sometimes the females will, and it's just a natural thing that they do, and they will do that whether they're happy or sad, and some won't do it at all, and some will do it literally every second of every day. You know what I mean? So it's not an indication if they're happy or sad, so please do not base if your axolotl is happy based, or not your axolotl, if your bed is happy based on if they have a bubble nest or not. And then this is the last myth that I got for you guys. So, bettas need to be kept alone. That is false. Male bettas are more aggressive than female bettas, and some bettas aren't aggressive at all. You can do a betta sorority. I would suggest buying from a place where they are already kept together. Um, but you know. Um, and you can keep any betta fish in a community tank with other kinds of fish. I wouldn't suggest keeping them with guppies or anything with blonde colorful fins because they can get aggressive towards those, but they can be kept with other species and females can be kept with other female bettas. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I really, I, I got this idea from TikTok. Um, so yeah. Um, I hope you're all having a great day, and I hope, if you're not, that things get better for you, and I hope that you all have a good week and year and life, and so, yeah. Bye, guys. You're all awesome, and I hope that your animals are doing good. So, bye!